हेलो एवरी वन सर्वे जन सुखी नोबू ई एम डॉक्टर अनिद जगन्नाथ ई एम ए प्राक्टिसिंग एंडोस्कोपिक स्कल बेस्ड न्यूरो सर्जन एट एस्ट्रो न्यूरो सैनसस् एस्ट्रो आर् हास्पिटल जे पी नगर बैंगलूर टूडे ई वि लाइक टू हेव ए चाट अबउट ए कामन कंडीशन दट्स कॉल्ड एस सी एस एफ रैनोरिया इन सै सी एस एफ रैनोरिया वाट हैपन इज द सेब्रो स्पाइनल फ्लूड विच ईज ए फ्लूड सरउंडिंग द ब्रेन एंड द स्पाइनल कॉर्ड लीक्स थ्रू ए डिफेक्ट फ्रॉम द बेस ऑफ द स्कल इन टू द नोस यूजली इट हैपन आफ्टर ट्रामा लाइक ए हेड इंजुरी लाइक ए फॉल और अ रोड ट्राफिक एक्सीडेंट एंड ए क्लियर फ्लूड कैन कीप कमिंग थ्रू वन ऑफ द नॉस्ट्रल्स इट कैन ऑल्सो हैपन आफ्टर एन एंडोस्कोपिक साइनस सर्जरी टू द नोज और समटाइम्स ट्रांसपिनाइडल सर्जरी फॉर पिट्यूटरी ट्यूमर्स एंड समटाइम्स इट कैन हैपन स्पॉन्टेनियसली The spontaneous CSF rhinorrhea can also be a symptom of a condition called as idiopathic intracranial hypertension. You can refer to my earlier video on this topic. The patient with CSF rhinorrhea can also have other symptoms. They can have headache, they can have heaviness in the head, they can have ear block, there can be buzzing sound in the ear what we call as tinnitus and there can be loss of smell. So a patient like this will be managed with Uh, an approach involving a neurosurgeon and an ENT surgeon initially we would like to see from where the csf is leaking and locating the site of leak becomes an important point in the management of these conditions so we test the fluid to check whether it is actually a cerebrospinal fluid and then we suggest an mri scan or a ct cystogram on the patient wherein uh, MRI will locate the site of fluid leak. Most of the times, these patients need to take bed rest, and the defect will be shut, and the leak will go away. Sometimes, when there is continuation of leak, these patients will need surgery. The problem and the complication if the leak is left like that is that an infection can also spread from the nose into the brain and can cause a complicated brain infection, what we call as meningitis. So the surgery for CSF rhinorrhea is again a multidisciplinary procedure wherein an ENT surgeon and a neurosurgeon operate together to take care of this condition. Herein we go in through the nose with an endoscope. The ENT surgeon and the neurosurgeon will locate the site of the leak. We confirm the site of the leak either with the neuro navigation or sometimes with fluorescein and then we harvest a small amount of fat either through the abdomen or from the thigh and we plug the leak with this fat and we seal it with a medical grade glue and then we put a nasal uh, mucosal flap on it so that there is no recurrence of this leak so this is how acs of rhinorrhea is being managed thank you for your patient hearing good day mm-hmm.